Next up, let's create the user section. And we saw this in our demo application. The user section will be completely lazy loaded. So none of those assets are loaded until we visit something slash users slash whatever is under that section of our application. Since we already have the header open, let's create a router link for the user section. All right, so we have our users link here. Let's inspect element and let's zoom out a little bit, console. Now watch this, as soon as I click home, contact, cool, users, we're gonna get an error and Angular lets us know cannot match any routes, URL segment users does not exist. And that makes sense because we haven't created this user section just yet. We'll close this out and come back over to our terminal. Now, this is where more modules comes into play. We have our main app module, which sits at the top level of our application. We're gonna need a users module if we wanna lazy load that section. NGG module users. Now we created source app users users module right here. Oh, we actually goofed up. There's no routing here and we need the users module section to have its own router. So we're gonna delete this and then let's do the same thing, but dash dash routing. Okay, now we have users. It has its own router. This entire section of our site will have its own compartmentalized module and its own router. Let's create two components. We're gonna say ngg component and the way we can get users components to be inside of this users module is just users forward slash user list. NGG component users slash user single. And that's for the page that's going to show all users and then also a page that's going to show a single user. All right. So now we have this entire module section. Let's make sure that our routes are existing for this users routing section. We'll have path is nothing component is user list component and then also one for a path is colon username and that's how we do route parameters in angular we're going to have colon username because this path is usually going to be something like slash users slash chris on code and this variable is what we need to pull out of the url and this is how we tell angular to do it we're going to say component is user single component. Notice I'm not doing users here or users slash username. And that's because our top level app router is going to be having that slash users section. All this stuff here is relative to this users module. And that's why we don't put slash users here. So we go back into app routing module. This is how we start to lazy load sections of our application. Now, normally you would go into app module and load up the modules imports. So we'd say users module, but we don't want that because if we put it here, that means it automatically gets loaded when our application loads. So we don't want to register it just yet. Let's close that. Under app routing, we're going to have path users component, but we're not using a component. We're using a whole module. We're going to use load children. And then instead of passing in the actual component itself, we're gonna pass in a string. So when Angular sees this string and says load children, it will go and find the module and then load it on demand. We'll do this from the source folder, app users, users.module, hashtag users module. And I think that's users.module, yep. And the last thing I wanna add that I forgot to add earlier, up here on our home component, we want path match to be full. And that's because it's matching this blank path, but now we have two blank paths. We have one under the users and one under the home page. So this could fire twice. By saying path match full, it makes sure that it's only for the home page slash nothing right there. All right, so save that. And now, that should be everything we need for lazy loading a whole section of our website. I know that was a lot to do, but if you think about it, really all we did was generate a module, two components, set up our router, and then our main 
top level router, we just said load children and Angular handles all that lazy loading for us. So let's go take a look, make sure it works. We have our homepage, open up network tab for JavaScript, inline polyfill styles, everything we expect here. Contact works. Now, as soon as I click users, we should see that users.chunk. Let's go users, users.module.chunk, user list works. Very nice. And then if we have a user here, so username, so slash Chris on code, which is my Twitter handle, enter user single works as well. So now we have both components being used. User module chunk only gets loaded if we're slash users on our route. And that's a really great way for Angular to handle lazy loading for us. And if you have a couple errors showing when you click that users, make sure you try and restart ng serve. Uh, we did a lot of new files, new components. So Angular CLI might need to restart to register all those good things. All right, that's enough for our router and our new user section.